Hi guys, today I'm really excited because I would say today macro season officially starts, at least here in Stockholm. The weather is very nice and it's the first day this year that we have like 17 degrees Celsius, which means that a lot of insects are starting to come out. And also since spring has really begun in the last couple of weeks, we have a lot of flowers that have started to bloom. So. It's a great opportunity to bring out your macro lens, dust it off a bit and uh, uh, begin enjoying macro photography in 2018. And today I'm gonna try uh, something new, new for me at least. I'm gonna try uh, macro photography with a micro four thirds camera and a micro four thirds lens. Um, one potential benefit uh, that I've discussed in another video before would be that uh, you do get a deeper depth of field, uh, all other things being the same, with a smaller sensor. Uh, normally I shoot macro with a full frame sensor and the micro four thirds is one fourth the size, or half on each uh, dimension. Uh, so it should give me like double the depth of field, which I'm really curious to try out. And the camera I'm going to be using is this Panasonic P80, uh, which I bought for making videos. So I've actually never used it for photography before, so that's also going to be a new experience for me. I hope I will like it as much as my Sony A7. And the lens I've purchased for macro photography is the Olympus 60mm f2.8, uh, which corresponds to 120mm in full frame. And I've done a lot of research on all the available macro lenses for micro four thirds and according to most people and according to my own judgment when, when viewing example photos, this is the best macro lens for the micro four thirds system at the moment. So I'm really curious to try this setup out today and see what we can get. So the first thing you kind of notice with this lens is how small it is. Compare it with, for example, a Sigma 150mm, which would be almost equivalent for full frame. I mean, this lens weighs almost nothing, while the Sigma weighs over a kilo, and this lens is less than half the size. The camera itself is about the same size as my full frame camera, but the optics for micro four thirds are extremely small and lightweight, so that's a great benefit. Image quality. It is very good if you do get the exposure right. If you don't get the exposure right, and for example you need to lift the exposure afterwards, you do get some problems with noise, because it is very noticeable that the dynamic range with micro four thirds is nowhere near the dynamic range uh, on a full frame camera. So that's kind of a downside, that the images does, don't look as deep or as nuanced in the colors uh, as on full frame. Uh, maybe I'm just imagining, but I think there is a distinct difference in look. That being said, you can still take some really beautiful and nice looking photos on a Micro Four Thirds camera, of course. This was a sunny day, I promise, but exactly when I was about to film this video, the sun went behind the clouds and many of the insects uh, went to hide somewhere. So I had to shoot mostly flowers, uh, which I like, of course. The focusing mechanism with this lens and camera combination is electronically coupled and the sensitivity is like crazy high and it was so infuriating because I had to twist and turn the focusing ring like several rotations to go from infinity to closest possible focus and often if I was shooting something that moved I kind of missed the opportunity because I had to rotate that focusing ring <laughs> so many times. It it's just weird. I, I wonder if you could change it by, by some setting or something, because it was so frustrating. I mean, I understand their thinking, you need a lot of focus throw in macro photography, but this was too much. I did, however, really enjoy the increased depth of field that you get with a small sensor like this. 
uh, it made it easier to take nice looking photos and yeah in some cases the bokeh was affected but I mean it's still very easy to get good bokeh when you're doing macro photography because you're focusing so closely. The magnification ratio on this lens uh, is 1x, as with most lenses on full frame, but since the sensor is so small, this actually means that you get the same level of magnification as you would get with a 2x magnification lens on full frame, because the sensor is so small. So anything you photograph uh, on full magnification with the Micro Four Thirds camera actually becomes twice as big in the picture frame as it would be on full frame. And this is very nice if you're doing macro photography of some really small things. I found these interesting small bugs. There were plenty of them in a small spot and they were doing some kind of mating, I think. Uh, however, they were extremely quick and moved around a lot <laughs> and that combined with this lens that I had to turn like 37 times to get focus in the right place made it really hard to capture these bugs. But I got a couple of shots even though they weren't that beautiful. I was lucky enough to get a couple of shots of this beautiful butterfly. Usually they are very shy, but sometimes they seem to get blinded by the sunlight. <laughs> and they, then they don't really see you and you can get very close without them noticing it. Mating bugs. Anyways, uh, that's it for this video. I kind of both really hated and really loved the experience of macro photography on micro four thirds. I will definitely try it more, maybe in another video. So see you soon again, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to tell your friends how much you love this channel. Over and out.